Everybody good? All right. Great. Well, I mean, how do you fix it really right now? You guys are in a, a tough stretch these sure. last four games. Can you fix play it? hard and play together? That's the message. Play hard every play and play together. Do our job on every snap. Play as hard as we can possibly play. Do you, do you, is there? Um, do you stick with what you're preaching and practicing, or can you? Do you actually have to change something fundamentally? No, the, the fundamentals and technique will all still be the same. Um, we'll mix some stuff up, uh, mix different calls, pressure when we've been playing coverage. You know, do some things like that. But uh, ultimately, we're going we're gonna to stay the course. Uh, that's the biggest thing. We, we have to, because uh, I think when you start changing, uh, then the players start going, well, it didn't work in the first place, and they start second, second guessing. So we're going to stay the course, we're going to play together, we're going to play hard. When we turn on the tape, the most important thing that happens, regardless of the outcome of the game, is when we see 11 guys do their job and play as hard as they can possibly play from the snap to the whistle. What do you lose in Roy getting traded away? And and what do the guys like uh, Mason Smith and Jordan Jefferson, some of those young guys, potentially gain? A great opportunity. Uh, more snaps. I mean, more opportunities to go make plays. Those guys have done a good job. Um, you'll see Jordan again out there. I mean, he played pretty decent at first. You know, your first NFL game, he, emotions were running high. and uh, You know, it wasn't perfect by any means, but, but he did play hard. And he did some really good things, and so we're encouraged. Same thing with Mason. You know, he's been playing, you know, all year. And, uh, but, you know, we appreciate everything that uh, Roy did, but, you know, next guy up mentality. And, and we've got a deep room there. You know, we've, we've kept a lot of guys. So uh, we feel like we're really good in, in, uh, at that position. Coach, how do you prepare when, and maybe it's not just a this weekend thing, but generally if it's you're facing a quarterback that you haven't seen much yet at the NFL level, or do you go back to what you said and make it about you? Uh, it has to be about us. I mean, that's where we're at right now. You know, it really doesn't matter the opponent, whoever you – any of the other 31 teams, this, this week is just going to be about Jacksonville and, and our defense and how we play. Like, that's, that's been all, all the message. We've, obviously, we do watch a little tape on them, and we know, you know kind of their, their tendencies and who they are and things like that. But, look, it, at the end of the day, you know, we're out there, interception drill yesterday, tackling circuit today, like, you know, fundamentals technique. You know, we're going to play our defense, and we're going to play hard and tough and fast. Do you make it always about you, or is it just one of five? Yeah, no, every, every week it's about us. Like, that's the most important thing. If you worry about yourself, then that's the only thing that matters. And, yeah. and, you know, we talk about execution. Execution is being a good teammate to do your job so the guy left and right can do his job. You know, and that's been our focus this week. Did you see anything that Andre talked about after the game show up on tape when looking back on it? You know, there, there's, there's some plays that the, we just got to play hard. Like, that's, you know, that's the thing, you know. Um, you know, we've had a conversation, Andre, and, and just where your thoughts are, you know, where did that come from? And you never want to hear that. Like, that's not anything as a coach, um, you know, but, you know, we've talked about it, and I think uh, we'll go out there and we'll play hard. Like, that's <laughs> that's the message, you know, you can continue to hear that and, and just play hard every snap, you know, so that never happens again. What would Jamie Tyson back mean? It's huge, great player. You know, we don't want to lose any good players, you know, any of our players. Uh, getting him back, you know, he's phenomenal talent, athlete, he's a great teammate. Um, you know, we're excited about getting him back into the, the fold. You'll see some different com combinations now that we have him back and kind of how we started the year. So, uh, very excited. Penalties were killer on the defense last week. What's been done to clean that up this week? Yeah. Staying stay the course, staying fundamentals, technique. You know, some of those te were technique, the penalties were technique errors. You know, so we just got to stay with that. You know, take our hands off, we'll move our feet a little bit better. Uh, 12 guys on the field is unacceptable. That can never happen. Uh, that's on me. The penalties are on me, and, and we'll, we're working on it this week. It's, you know how this works. It's hard when you're one and five, not too many positives come out. But are there some small victories on your defense, whether it's individual players, things coming together the way you want to see it? Sure. Uh, that, that's not jumping out, you know, in, in wins. Love how we started last week. You know, two, three, and house guys were playing fast. Um, but then also, you know, some of the things started showing up and you don't want to show up. And, and you know, the, the third drive in the game, you know, there's some plays that happen that you're, you know, if we, if we just would have been, you know, in the right place and executed our job, I mean, maybe a little bit different outcome. You know, so that's where we're just staying, of course, with the guys. And then, you know, throughout the season, you've seen games that we've had stretches and, you know, we've got off the field in six straight drives in some games and things like that. And so that's what we're focusing on. And guess we can do this. We've done this before. Now let's just put a whole football game together.
Ryan, have you talked to your players a little bit about kind of maintaining their role, not trying to do too much? I think sometimes you press when obviously things are not going the way you want to and kind of staying within that role that they have. It's a great point because we have. It, it's, it was the meeting on Tuesday. It's, it's play hard and, and then play together. And the play together part is the execution. And then just, like you say, do your job, and, and that's execution. To, to us, doing your job, executing your job, is being a great teammate. So, so if, if I'm a, supposed to be in the B gap, the guy in the, in the C gap and the A gap can do his job. And that's, that's being a great teammate, not jumping out of my gap to do his job, and I'm going to stay in my gap to do my job. Same thing in coverage and in, in, in all aspects of the game. And, and so that's our focus on playing hard and playing together, and part of that is the execution part and just doing our job. Coach, you mentioned staying in the course. And, yeah. and from the outside, media will look at the record and things like that. As a coach generally, week to week in the NFL, do you almost set that aside and there's a process? Absolutely. You know, every Monday is, is every Monday, every Tuesday is every Tuesday, every Monday. Because when you start treating some games and some days that are greater than others, then you start riding the roller coaster. And so you got to treat it all the same. And, and one day at a time, one game at a time. It, um, a long time ago, when first, you know, you, you have these 17 games, and each game is a unit. And all we have to do is just start stacking. It doesn't matter who the opponent is, one unit at a time. Just stack the units, and next thing you know, we can turn this thing around. But we got to start with one, and that's this week. This is the second year in a row you've had back to back games here in London. What have you learned from last year to help prepare for this week? Yeah, it's, first of all, this is awesome. I, we love it. I mean, this is this setup here, and, and being at the Grove, and, and uh, it's fantastic, and so you, you fly how we how we travel, the flight over here, I and mean, everything's been awesome. And so um, makes it very easy to come over here and play two games. And um, so so part of that is is just staying in the routine of hey, this is Monday and this is Tuesday. Because sometimes you can get lost, so you go to a new place, and but if you keep everything the same, then the guys know the routine, and, and there's not much a lot of change. And so you just stay, you know, fundamentals, technique, our defense, things where it doesn't matter where we're at. Uh, by the, by the way, the atmosphere was unbelievable the other day. I, 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 Tottenham's fantastic, been to Wim Wimbledon before, an awesome place, and so really excited about the game on Sunday. There's just the atmosphere and the energy and the stadium. And when they sing those uh, national anthems, I mean, it's it's live in there now. It's 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 awesome, so really excited. Okay, last one, Brent. Are you, are, you, um, are you getting enough up front, or do you feel like at some point you're going to have to dial some more stuff up? Like what's that balance from your point? You, you always want more, right? You want, you want more interceptions, you want more takeaway, you want more punch outs, tackles. I mean, in, at every position, you always want more. So uh, maybe, maybe not. Like, I think the guy's done a good job. Uh, Josh and Trayvon, you know, last couple of games have been rolling now. Like, they're pressuring the quarterback and they've been doing some really good things in Eric inside. And, you know, some of those young defensive linemen have been showing up. So it was a state of course and maybe a little bit. We'll, we always have a different wrinkle. You know, there's a wrinkle third down typically, but. Uh, some of the same. Is that a tough edge for you? Because uh, you're like, hey, what? Not getting it, or when do you turn that switch over, but I want to be who we are. Well, know? if we pressure too much, then they get a, a tendency and a, and a tip. And then if you don't pressure, and it's like man and zone coverage, you know, you just got to keep mixing it. So we'll, we'll do the same thing. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah.